Hey, key team, it's Mara. I'm doing a little bit of procrastinating here at work today because I am flying out in the morning for conference. Um, and if you're like half dead, you can't miss the fact that Mary and Martha conference is happening because it's pretty much all that's being talked about um, by corporate and on the Facebook boards and I've been posting about it. Um, and I am sitting here and I'm packing my bags and I'm thinking about last year's conference um, and I'm thinking about you guys, my team. Um, it was last May that I joined and my sister and I um, just quickly made this decision to go to conference and it was probably the best decision that we made with respect to Mary and Martha. Um, and we felt immediately like we were part of a bigger thing. Um, and so I really wanted to share that feeling with you guys because I know that some of you really wanted to come to conference and for whatever reason weren't be able to make it. And some of you guys are new um, and you weren't really sure, is it worth the investment? It's expensive. Um, and so I want to just share with you that I am hoping to bring a part of you with me and somehow share the experience back to you. Um, I know it's really hard to do that, but um, you are not forgotten um, just because you are not present. Um, I'm going to be praying for you guys and we praying for your business, praying that whatever called you to Mary and Martha um, is still alive in your heart and that you do the next step in that calling, which is to fall into obedience, um, which was actually the message of last year's conference that really hit home for me. Um, I had reached that point in my business where I had hit the first couple of months. I had a couple parties. I was feeling good. And then I didn't know what to do. Um, all of a sudden, I was like, okay, um, need a hostess? <laughs> um, and I went to conference. And I came back with a renewed spirit and a renewed enthusiasm for our mission. Our mission. Um, so I'm hoping that somehow the newness of fall, um, I'm hopefully going to be more engaged and re-engaged both with the team, but also with my own personal business. Um, and that will inspire you as well. Um, and that we can grow together, um, as sisters in Christ and also, um, with our love of Mary and Martha. So, and I'm also using you guys as guinea pigs <laughs> because, um, Lisa, my upline, who, you know, who is the director, executive dr director, um, of the company, she, um, has tasked me with speaking about Facebook, um, at our team meeting tomorrow night. And so I wanted to use you guys as my initial platform for a very quick, um, commentary on Facebook, the benefits of Facebook, and actually my portion is titled Face to Face, then Facebook. Um, and so I have five tips when it comes to Facebook, five tips. And the first tip is be friends, be friends outside of Facebook. And if you don't know the person from anything other than social media, be friendly. Okay. Um, people want to know about you. Um, and so when you're engaged on your Facebook page, be vulnerable um, and be giving and be grateful that you're having interaction with people that also may love Mary and Martha as much as we do. So be friends, be friendly. Um, my second tip is be fast. Responsiveness will make the day. Um, a lot of people who are savvy on social media want that immediate response. If somebody sends you an email, even if you're at the movie theater <laughs> or you're out with your kids, you know, send them a text acknowledging that you got their email. I got your email. I'm excited to talk to you. Let me get back to you when I return to my home. Um, just that little message can keep the conversation going. Whereas a person who wants a quick response and doesn't get anything from you from three to four days, it's already out of their mind. Um, so be fast. So be friends and be fast. Number three, be fabulous. People want to be engaged with a Facebook page or with a person who is open, who is hopeful, who is grateful, who is giving. Okay. So be fabulous and not in a ostentatious way, but in a way that draws people to you. Be magnetic. Don't be negative. Don't be critical. Don't always point out the thing that's wrong. Talk about everything that's right. Okay. So be fabulous. Number four point is be faithful. Be faithful to the Mary and Martha mission. Be faithful for what drew you to the mission. If you're honest about what you love about the company, people will buy in and not just buy into the product <laughs> as in sales, but buy into the emotional capacity and the ministry that's behind the product. So be faithful. 
Um, that's tough. We all have a lot of stuff going on. Um, and to be consistent in your business and to be faithful in your business um, can be a real struggle, especially when there's life's demands and family and your other work and all the things that we all do. Um, but if you're faithful in your business, you'll reap the rewards of that. And the last point is be forgiven. Okay. And I think that that comes, uh, forgiveness comes in a lot of ways. Forgiveness comes when you are um, a leader and you have downline. Um, you have to forgive them for the things that they do and you have to forgive your leader. Maybe I forgot to tell you that you need to do your great starts in 30 days. Like, ah, you know, I'm not perfect. Um, and then forgive our hostesses. It's really tough um, when you show up at a party and the hostess has worked hard um, for whatever reason, no one shows up, you know, have a spirit of grace and graciousness in that moment. Um, for some reason, there is a purpose for that, that party and that gathering. God is present ask for him to be there with you um, and, and be forgiving. Um, so that's those are my five Facebook things. They're very ubiquitous. I have, um, you guys know I've done some videos on Facebook posts um, and I can talk more about Facebook, but I think when it comes to Facebook, it's a platform, um, but nothing beats real life and nothing beats picking up the phone. It may be the hardest thing to do because it's the most personal thing to do. Don't hide behind Facebook. So be friends. Be fast, be fabulous, be faithful, and be forgiving. So that's my Facebook spiel. I love your feedback. I'm super sorry that none of you are coming with me this year, but next year maybe you'll be there with me. Um, you know, God willing, who knows what, uh, what what's in store for any of us. Um, and I just want to leave you with this message. To be joyful always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. So um, you all know that verse, um, but I think right now it's really fitting for all of the feelings that I have um, as I pack up and head to get on the plane tomorrow. So um, I'm excited for us. You guys are my key women. Um, let's put it out there this fall, and I hope that we all love the products, uh, and I hope that we all have the opportunity to share them with others. Take care.